Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. Today we're touring two model homes at the newest community built by KB. We're talking about the community of Red Bend. We have uh, five floor plans here that you can build. Uh, we're going to see two of them today. I will have all the other ones videos so I can leave a link for you. Uh, maybe down in the description, I'll put a link down there for you to see all the model homes that they sell in this community. We're gonna talk when we go through these homes about all the upgrades in the houses. Uh, we're gonna talk about how much the house is gonna cost you out the door price, how much it is uh, lot premium and all that stuff to give you an idea of what you're getting, how much you're spending out the door. Very important for all the buyers out there. Now, we have the 1590 square feet, which it's actually the... Looks like it's this one. This is gonna be the 1590 square feet, which is the smallest floor plan that they offer. And then right next to us over here, they built also the 2069. Beautiful floor plan with uh, three to four bedrooms on this one. Uh, we'll go through it together once we get in there. But they're all gonna be, uh, bedrooms are all gonna be on the second floor on these homes. They do offer, however, two homes. One is the 2124 and then the other one is the 2469. Very famous floor plans that we have throughout the valley uh, that do offer the bedroom downstairs. I think they're trying to push more of these smaller homes just because the prices are getting uh, pretty high up there in today's market. So, so 15, 90 square feet is the first one over here. Now let's talk a little bit about Red Bend first. Red Bend is a community in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, we're talking about uh, the intersections are sunset. You can actually see the Durango Casino from here. I'll show you the their board right there. Crazy what these iPhones can do nowadays, right? So you have the Durango Casino right there, right around the corner. We're right, right off of Sunset, which is the next street over here and the 215 freeway that cuts over here and then it makes a turn and it goes down towards the airport. You're still looking at around 10, 15 minutes to strip airport anywhere you wanna be because you can hop onto the freeway in no time. You have uh, pretty low HOAs here. We don't have a community, a gated community. It is around $50 a month for the HOA. You'll get a little bit of a, a small park over here, like a dog park, you can go. Uh, they'll have the dog, um, uh, you know, poop, poop uh, bags and stuff like that. So you can go, you can walk your dog, uh, they can relieve, and then you can go and clean up after them. Uh, really nice community. We have um, about 120 homes in here. And, uh, you know, really nice neighborhood. You can see all the mountains on the east side. That would be South Summerlin or what you call right a little bit over there. We have Mesa Ridge and the new uh, luxury neighborhoods, which are, uh, pretty much that uh, ascension, you know, builders like Toll Brothers and uh, Pulte are building over there. Anyway, going into this house, the starting price on this one is $478,000. We're gonna tour to both today, by the way, in this one video, so you don't have to go and look for all the videos of the home, of the model homes. This is the 1590 square feet, 478,000 starting price. This house is gonna have most of the included options, although we do have some nice upgrades. We are looking at the eight foot ceilings throughout the first uh, floor. And you can tell here because uh, they did not do that upgrade. They did do, however, the flooring here on the first floor. This is gonna run you somewhere around 10 to 12 grand, depending on the tile that you get. However, they do have offers, options like luxury vinyl plank. They're gonna run you somewhere around five to $6,000 for this floor plan. So keep that in mind. There's some really viable, uh, more affordable options with this builder. As far as the lot square footage, you have a, a few options. Number one, you can get some bigger lots that have a full backyard, even with the bigger floor plans like the 2124 or the 2469 that have the bedroom downstairs. Or you can get the smaller lots like this, it'll save you some money, and you still have a reasonable size backyard. Uh, but first, let me give you a good shot of this downstairs. Look at this. Beautiful. We have the eight foot ceilings, which is standard. Then you'll get the uh, cabinets. These are the included cabinets. All they did is they raised the cabinets all the way to the ceiling, giving you the 42 inch height on the cabinets, which is about $900 of an upgrade. Now, outside, you'll notice here, 
it's a pretty good sized backyard one thing about this community though being that they have some lots that are a little bit smaller uh, it kind of utilizes the side of the home a little bit better so what you have is yes about 20 feet on this side but then you can also go to the back over here and you can also use the side of the house which is this would be your house and this would be the neighbor's house which on this wall they usually don't put any windows or anything that to allow more privacy on the side um, but you can see you could put in here you know barbecue set uh, you can do a spa something like that so it gives you more space that is actually usable versus having like a hallway on the side of the house so i really like what they're doing here utilizing that lot square footage being the land is so expensive especially in this part of town getting so close to somewhere like so this would be the first uh this would be the backyard on the 1590 square feet floor plan if we go to and that's probably why they only model the ones without the bedroom downstairs because the ones with the bedroom downstairs they stick out more they go push they push further back so they wouldn't fit on this lot so on this side they only uh, model these two homes that do fit on this lot you can see here the kitchen is going to have this peninsula island with four seats beautiful we have a quartz countertop upgrade this is going to cost you somewhere around seven eight hundred dollars total to upgrade from the regular granite that is included they have four uh, options as far as granite you can keep one of those options or you can upgrade for a few hundred dollars to something like this it'll come with a four inch backsplash you'll get the push and install weir pull with the four burners just like this and then the microwave here is about 220 bucks to upgrade this one uh, which is going to give you the microwave above the oven although it comes included with a little canopy hood right here not canopy hood just the hood underneath these cabinets you uh you can upgrade to get this microwave or you can upgrade even the stove to get like a five burner with a little bit more upgrades on the stove and also get a nice uh fancier uh, microwave as well as far as uh your refrigerator this is about a fourteen hundred dollar upgrade to do it at the design center it does not come with and uh, we talked about the flooring. And, uh, if you want to do the nine foot ceilings, it costs around four to five thousand dollars, but I think it's really worth it. It will bring up the size of all your doors right here. So the windows will move a foot up uh, higher, which allows more light to come in. And then also this uh, the top of the door is going to finish right around that that roof line right now because you're going to have an extra foot in height. It makes this feel also uh, the, the place feel a lot bigger as well. We have some storage underneath your, well, this is a coat closet slash some storage space, like what I did here. And then over here, this will be your powder room. I don't think I opened it, but you do have your powder, uh, your pencil steel, sorry, pencil sink and your toilet. Not many upgrades in here other than the flooring and uh, the height of the cabinets, the microwave, the countertops probably total about 15 grand literally in this house on the second floor we won't notice many upgrades because again uh, this would be the model of the home that they have with the least amount of upgrades now what's cool about this one is you do get even a small loft it's nothing crazy but you can definitely put in a couch on this side like a three seat couch and then you can put a tv in the middle if you want to a great place to play video games if you have any kids that play so uh, or maybe make it like a nice uh, homework nook space right here. So it's actually functional space, as a matter of fact, because of this wall right here. Then we have the two bedrooms on this side with the bathroom and laundry room, and then your primary back there, separated from the other bedrooms. So we'll start from here. We have your smart panel. It's gonna work, run all your wires and everything through the walls, so you don't have to worry about that uh, after washer and dryer not included you get the pan however which is nice and then this tile was upgraded over here as well just like this bathroom it comes with a tile already in all the wet areas so if you're asking okay jack what's included will be the kitchen all the bathrooms and laundry room are going to get a tile it's going to be a 17 by 17 tile uh then we have here your quartz in the bathroom is actually included and you're also going to get exactly what you see here which is this drop-in sink the faucet will be a little bit different style, one of those lower ones, but you can upgrade to something like this for about 1600. 
fiberglass tub and shower combo is going to be included same as your chrome faucets and all the chrome throughout the house is included you can upgrade to a brush nickel if you want to first bedroom this is a queen size bed fits great although we don't have much room here for a dresser or something however we do have a nice walk-in closet so if you want to put a dresser maybe over here for all the uh, you know socks underwear whatever it is and then you have some storage space right here you can also double rack it if you want to or need to although i would argue you can probably fit here a dresser on that side yeah maybe something not too big but you could definitely fit it and then with the queen bed as well, which is nice. Linen closet. Your bedroom right here is going to be your secondary bedroom. This is about 11 by 11. About the same size as the other one. We're talking about queen size bed fitting in here. It looks like this one is slightly bigger as well. And it does have also that walk-in closet, which is really nice. It gives you that extra square footage then we have this loft i already talked about it i really like it as far as the upgrades in the house you see the speaker is not included you will get these recess lights throughout all the hallways and you know one in the dining room and the kitchen will get six of them so there are going to be some upgrades but uh you if you want to do lighting in the bedrooms those are all optional as well as the ceiling fans if you plan on doing that generous size room in here you can see there's plenty of room with a king size bed so really like it and each light is like hundred and forty dollars if you want to add it easily done with the design center this will be linen closet and then we have the included option which is the tub and shower combo you can also do a few options here for about a thousand dollars you can get just a regular walk-in shower fiberglass enclosure so you'll have fiberglass pan and then fiberglass you know walls you can also go and spend three thousand dollars to do a walk-in shower with the pan on the floor and then surrounded by quartz you can go ahead and do what's called a, an extended walk-in shower, which is gonna give you a bigger shower with an extra, with a seat, still with the quartz surround for about 4,500. Or last but not least, you can do a tub right next to a walk-in shower in place of this linen closet. Now, when you get the extended shower, it's gonna shrink this down a little bit to about this big, uh, but you'll still get a linen closet. When you get the shower next to the tub, you'll get a shower right here. this linen closet will disappear and then they'll put in here a small linen closet right there i believe it was so it takes away a little bit from your uh, closet which is still a generous size i think for the height for, for the size of the house okay water closet right there really nice layout so what are we talking about price out the door for this one 478 starting price so you're looking at approximately i would say in this specific house, if you want to model it the way this home is modeled, you're looking at approximately twenty thousand dollars, twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars in upgrades in this one. I would say twenty-five just on the just to be on the safe side. Uh, so that plus a lot premiums on these smaller lots are going to go for about eight to ten, anywhere between five to ten thousand. So call it thirty-five above base price. You're looking at the low five hundreds for this house. So it'd be somewhere around five ten to five fifteen with all the upgrades that we mentioned when we were walking through this home. This home. Now, this bigger one, one of my favorite floor plans that they have, I think this is a sweet spot, whether you're investing into a property and trying to get uh, the most out of your rent as an investor, or if you're looking for a home that you can actually grow into with four full bedrooms, this could be a really good option because price-wise, you're looking at a base price of 517, and then uh, you have to add obviously the lot premium and all those things. Walking into this one, you can tell the eight foot door from the eight foot door entrance that we do have a nine foot ceilings inside, which means they definitely upgraded that. Now this model, let me explain a little bit better. Because we have a smaller lot, what happens is it, you don't really have a backyard here, but what you do have is a side yard. Can you put a pool in here? No, you can't. But this is on this specific lot. There are some lots that are deeper, about 10, 15, 20 feet deeper, that you can actually put in a pool and you'll also get the side yard. So keep that in mind 
when you're uh, trying to look for one of these homes. This 2069 is awesome. Very spacious downstairs, pretty much the same space as far as the open living room space as your 20, for, uh, 2469 floor plan, which is the biggest one that they have. However, this one doesn't have the bedroom downstairs in comparison to that one. But you can see all the upgrades in here. They literally loaded this one up. We have the luxury vinyl plank on the first floor. This is about eight to $9,000. We're looking at a level five pretty much cabinets with the full overlay. We're looking at your quartz. Uh, this is a really nice one. The first time I see this style with a little bit more grays into it, kind of like a concrete uh, tone to it. But then we have all the beautiful veiny uh, things and it's a, you know, a nice uh, glossy look to it. We have the most expensive Whirlpool appliance uh, that they have. It gives you that screen with the five burners. The middle burner here is, you know, obviously optional. Uh, and then we have right here the microwave, which is really flat with the cabinets as well, which I really like about that one. Let me see how do you open this thing. Door open. Voila. After a couple seconds, it opens. And here you go with your microwave, very tiny, but it also is a second oven. If you look a little bit better, you can see on the sides, all these holes. So you can make it an air fryer. It's also an air fryer and an oven. If you want to cook some things, you can definitely do that as well. Now, uh, we are looking at the backsplash also an upgrade. That's going to cost you around 2,500 for what you see. Then we have the cabinets. These cabinets are going to run you somewhere around five to $6,000. For the upgrade that includes also your hardware as you can see the black hardware right there golden gooseneck faucet this is going to run you around a thousand bucks and then the sink also is the cooler it's going to run you somewhere around 800 to a thousand bucks as well it's got it's going to have this low separation here in the middle with the granite um compose composite here that uh it's really high uh i think it's a really high level uh, sink because you do get that scratch resistant and um, you know crack proof uh, kind of material the living space is awesome love it usually this floor plan does have this sliding door over onto this side behind the, um, the dining room which I really like however being that this lot is a little bit shorter you're gonna have a side yard which is what you see in this house which is why they put in the sliding door on this side they also upgraded to an eight foot wide Hi, an eight foot wide uh, sliding door. Usually it's six foot wide, but having also the nine foot ceilings increases the height, as I mentioned before. So it gives you the eight by eight sliding door. That's about $1,200 of an upgrade. Back here, we'll have uh, two extra storage space. You have your coat closet and a linen closet downstairs with your powder room right next to it for guests. I like how this one is tucked away from everything. So yeah, if you get one of those lots that have the bigger size, you're looking at the sliding door being right here. And that would be just a regular window. Um, as far as the, sorry, as far as your cabinet space, sorry, your, lawn, your <laughs> pantry space, look at this. Very spacious. Lots of shelf space. One of the biggest pantries they have in this community. I like how she grabbed the water. I'll take it too. And let's look at this backyard side or side yard. It's about 10 feet. Maybe this one has a couple feet more because uh, it is a corner lot, but you know, you'll get about 10 feet. So two feet less than this still gives you a nice side yard. And uh, usually you'll get a house next to you if you're getting this size lot unless you're getting a corner lot, okay? If you get a corner lot, then you're lucky because you get all of this exposed. And if you get the right one, you can get those beautiful mountain views over there. But yeah, really nice. And then you do have also some space back here. It's not gonna be huge, but you have about 10 feet. So, you know, pretty good size uh, side yard here behind the house. You have your AC condenser over there. So yeah, really nice setup. Cute. You know, you get everything you need, barbecue, everything. It's just that you won't get the backyard instead of the side yard. <clears throat> Love the, what they did here with the model home. Oh, and then they brought that brown upstairs too onto the 
wall over here as an accent wall. Really nice. So this 2069 does offer pretty much everything that the 2469 offers, but it just doesn't have a bedroom downstairs. That's the only thing. And a bathroom downstairs, like a full bathroom. You get a huge loft, which is great. And you have your laundry room, primary bedroom back there. And then over on this side, really cool. It's kind of tucked away. You have to turn around to get to the other three bedrooms back here. Now, I think they have an option on their website to turn this into two bedrooms, two full bedrooms instead of three, which makes it three, two big ones. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I have to double check because they used to have it in another community. That's why you can see the undermount sinks in this home around 150 to 200 each to upgrade it. I really like it. I would do it. And um, they also upgraded to all the black faucets matching the, the hardware, which, which is really nice. Same thing with your uh, shower head and uh, valves and everything. The three bedrooms back here, they're a little bit smaller on sides, but you, know, you can still fit everything you need. Uh, this could probably fit a full size bed comfortably, maybe a queen. And then you can see here, sliding door closet. And uh, the second one, you can see a twin bed in here, but it has everything else. You can see the walk-in closet. So uh, it gives you plenty of room for extra storage space in here. Yeah, definitely. You can put a dresser right there so it doesn't stay into the main room uh, away from everything. So really nice setup. This could easily fit a queen bed. And then let me know what you guys think about me just mentioning how big of a bed it can fit like for example this is a queen bed some people like to get the measurements and all that stuff they tell me hey jack why don't you just do the measurements in the in the room like eh, i mean even if you get the measurements <laughs> you're not going to be able to realize how much a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 is going to be unless you put some furniture in and i'm just telling you from my experience here as we're walking through it hey this one fits a queen but you can see over here you really don't have much room for everything else like i can't even put a dress or anything here right so it's maybe a little bit on the small end for a queen but you can definitely fit it and then uh, if you want to put a dresser it's going to be a small like a little profile one against the wall here so you can fit through but let me know what you guys think about these homes in general, what the price range is, what, you know, uh, what you think this house is going to cost out the door. Now, I can tell you what it's going to cost, actually. But what do you think about the price out the door for these homes in this part of town? Linen closet, you have your washer and dryer here with an extra panel on top. Uh, it's not even a panel. It's a chicken wire things. That's what they use over here. Easily replaceable, just a few screws and put in your own cabinets from Home Depot. It will cost you like a few hundred bucks, really. Easy do-it-yourself project for the weekend. Now, primary bedroom over here, very spacious. You can see yourself, king bed, plenty of room on the sides, plenty of room for a dresser on that wall or on this one, and then you have your TV set up, like what they did here, kind of cute. And your primary bathroom is probably going to have an upgrade exactly what I thought. And that is your extended shower with the seat. Now this option is going to have the fiberglass pan quartz around around. Now you can upgrade that quartz in there. You don't have to get this quartz, which this one matches your bathroom countertops, as you can see. But um, you can you can do, let's say, a veiny quartz like the one downstairs in the kitchen if you want to. And then you have right here your two underground sinks. Beautiful. And you can customize these homes. Like literally in this community, you'll be buying a lot and uh, you'll be starting your house with only 5K really if it's a primary residence and uh, get it under contract. So you can go and customize the house, everything you want in it. If there's a specific thing that you're looking to put in like a, an extra outlet or something, you can definitely do that. Big size closet can't complain so price out the door for this one looking at starting price of 517 after upgrades this one is probably going to have about 40 to forty-five thousand dollars in upgrades on this specific home the way they did it probably looking at probably even 50 because it's a model home so if you're looking to buy a home and make it look like this you're looking at 517 plus 50 567 
plus a lot premium. In this case, it's a corner lot, maybe 15, 20 grand. So you'll be somewhere around almost 600,000 for this house. Or you can get maybe on a smaller lot, maybe something that's not a corner lot, spend let's say half of that. And then uh, you can put into the house. I would say a healthy budget to put into a house if you're on a budget and you wanna do some upgrades later, like flooring and stuff. You're probably looking at somewhere around $25,000 for the house and upgrades. And then you, you can do your flooring. You have a really nice house, um, the flooring after. So if you do 25 plus 10,000 for the lot premium, you can 35 plus 515, 517 here. Uh, you're looking at around 550 out the door price for this one to make it look pretty nice. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys are in the market to purchase a home. I can't stress this enough. Don't go into a sales office yourself. If you do, please, when you register, make sure you put my name down as your realtor because that is very, very important if you want a realtor to represent you throughout this transaction. There are several, several builders out in this part of town as well as anywhere else in the valley where you can buy a home and you need a realtor next to you to make sure that you can see it, look at everything, first of all, in the valley and then make sure that you're getting the best deal possible because there's a lot of things involved with buying a new home that buyers might not see, like upgrades, for example, and other things that you can add to, to the purchase price versus other buildings that maybe already have it included. So a good realtor is going to give you that education and uh, that knowledge that you need when you're purchasing a new home so you don't make that mistake. And after all, the builder pays for the commission. Uh, I know a lot of lawsuits have been going on and all that stuff, but as of right now, builders, all the builders are still paying for commissions, nothing changed. And uh, if you guys want someone that can work for you pretty much, you know, at no charge, reach out to me. I'd love to assist you. All my information is down below in the description. I can assist you throughout this whole process to get you to the perfect home. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. 702-606-4815 if you haven't found my number down there. And uh, subscribe to the channel for all the new construction homes in the valley. See you in the next video.